Are you sick and tired of staring at the same old steel skyscrapers every day? Well, stop. Don't do that then. Why are you staring at skyscrapers? People are probably inside wondering why you're standing out there and staring at them. <clears throat> Anyways, it's time to branch out and take a hike down the towering forest of the future. So grab your flannel shirt and sharpen your saw, because today we're talking about wooden skyscrapers. Yes, I know what you're probably thinking. I'll talk about that later. This is Tsent, a 284-foot-tall, 25-story building in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, designed by Corbin Associates Architect. It was completed in August of 2022, and you'll never guess what it's made out of. Steel! Wait, no, sorry, wood. It's made out of wood, and on completion, it became the world's tallest timber building. Not exactly the type of wood that you're thinking about, though. You can't just chop down a tree and build a skyscraper out of it, because that's not nearly enough wood, and if you tried to do that, your homeowners association would probably write you a strongly worded letter. Hey! Descent is made out of what's known as cross-laminated timber, or CLT, and glue-laminated timber, or glue lamp, which are both types of engineered wood or mass timber. They're made by taking carefully chosen sheets of wood that are dried to have a specific moisture content and gluing them together under pressure. The result is a strong, shape-retaining wood that can withstand moisture and extreme temperature changes. These super light materials were prefabricated into panels and shipped on site for the ascent, which made construction a breeze. The ascent uses glue lamp columns and beams to support floor diaphragms made out of CLT. And because wood releases less carbon and can actually capture it, the buildings are more likely to be carbon neutral. It's like a giant game of Jenga, but in this scenario, the wood doesn't fall apart and leads to fewer arguments around the dinner table and more environmentally conscious building standards. Like you probably thought, there are some obvious concerns when it comes to building a wooden skyscraper. Namely, fire, because nothing ruins a good wooden skyscraper like a giant inferno. But the city of Milwaukee was willing to work with the design team for the ascent as long as they met certain building code requirements. This included proving that the horizontal floors and ceilings could achieve a 2 hour fire rating and the steel connectors and structural mass timber frame could achieve a 3 hour fire rating. To do this, the team worked with Austrian company KLH to conduct a PRG320 test, which is a fancy way of saying let's see if this thing can avoid burning for long enough. The floors and ceilings passed with flying colors and the second and third tests were were both successfully completed by third parties. And with all the tests successfully completed and having convinced the local fire department, the project was approved. So is wood the big new material that we've just sort of rediscovered? Uh, maybe. While it's been widely popular in Canada, Europe, and Asia, wooden skyscrapers, or more accurately, mass timber buildings are definitely starting to gain popularity here in the US. In 2018, Oregon became the first state to revise its building code to permit the construction of CLT buildings up to 18 stories. And just this year, New York and California also approved CLT buildings of up to 6 and 18 stories respectively. Right now, there are only a handful of CLT manufacturers in the US, so the material still needs to be imported. Cost comparisons between mass timber buildings and more traditional steel and concrete structures vary, but timber is still considered generally more expensive. However, with more building codes being updated for the use of CLT and an increase in its production, we just might see a rise in wooden skyscrapers in the US in the future. There are already over 1,300 mass timber buildings either constructed or in the works in the country. So be on the lookout. The next skyscraper that you're staring at just might be made out of wood. Will wooden skyscrapers start growing here in the US? Do you think they're a good idea? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're thinking about building your very own wooden skyscraper, you're going to want to learn something about architecture, so make sure to subscribe.